Okay, so we're going to move on to construction number four. And there's a couple of uh, methods to doing this. So we're going to use, first of all, we're going to use a ruler and a compass, and then we're going to use the set square and a ruler for the second one. So first of all, what is construction four? It is to draw a line perpendicular to a given line through a point on that line. So let's draw our line first. Um, so all this means is we have some line. Let's call the line L. And we have a point somewhere on the line. Call it P. The point P. Now all we want to do is draw a perpendicular line. So a line that goes up at a right angle or a 90 degree angle from this given line through that point. Okay. So first of all, with P as our center. So that's our first step with P. And remember, this is method one, okay? Method one, with P as the center and any radius, use your compass to draw two arcs which intersect L. So that is using our compass and um, the center being P, any radius, doesn't matter how big this is. And we're going to cross L once here and once on the other side of P. So we've now got two arcs either side of P on L using the compass. Um, we're going to name these points. A and B. This one's going to be A, and this one's going to be B. Okay, so now we have to set our compass longer than the line segment AP. So we'll do that straight away. Um, and that just means that we have this distance here is just, it's going to be longer than that. So some bit longer than that. Okay. So I think that's enough. That's further than AP. Um, now using A and B as the center, draw two intersecting arcs above L. So using A as our center and that radius of our compass, we're going to draw an arc up here. And then using B as the center, if I get that on it exactly, there we go. And uh, we cross it up here. Okay. And we're going to name it Q. So this point up here is going to be Q. And now step four, join P to Q. So using our ruler, we're just going to line up and there we go. So there we have a perpendicular line is exactly 90 degrees. We can check that. Um, that is exactly 90 degrees to the line or the point P on the line L. So that's method one, but now we need to try out method two. So method two, we need to draw our line again. So we have some line, call it L again. We've got some point P. And the first step is place a set square at point P so that one edge of the set square 
is on the point on the line. Sorry, on sorry, my point, my bad. On the line L. Okay, so here's our set square, and it basically is a triangle that has a right angle. We can see here this 90 degree angle. So you're going to place it so that it's at point P and that this section lines along the line L. So we can either go this side of it or this side of it. So whatever suits you best. Um, but I'm gonna go this side, just for my own sake. So we've got an edge going along L and it's lined up there. Use the vertical edge of the set square. That's the second step. Use the vertical edge of the set square to draw a line segment from P. So all we have to do is, using this, we're going to draw a line going up like this. And there we have it. This line is perpendicular to that point on that line. So method two obviously is a lot easier, but um, they can ask you to do either method, so you need to know how to use your compass to do this as well as just the set square.